So their goal is that all Los Angeles residents live within walking distance of a park, and they're working towards that goal by adding four new projects a year until their goal is realized. It's very impressive. They have 12 projects in development right now. So here to accept the award on behalf of the Los Angeles Neighborhood Land Trust is their executive director, Alina Bookday. Alina, would you come to the stage? Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Alina Bokte. I'm the executive director of the Los Angeles Neighborhood Land Trust, and I want to thank the Los Angeles headquarters for this community award. Um, we, I think Jan did a wonderful job really sharing both the mission and some of our accomplishments of an organization, of our organization, and I just wanted to give you kind of a visual and share a quick story about um, why, you know, why our projects and the level of impact that our projects are having in, in communities. So this is actually supposed to be a eight and a half by 11, so my apologies for the visual, but this is the amount of open space that the residents we work in, this is the average amount of open space that a resident has. So it's only enough to stand on. So an eight and a half by 11 kind of square foot of open space. And so our mission is about uh, working with communities to identify, to de design, develop, and then steward um, urban parks and community gardens. And um, I just want to share a story of one of our projects that we are actually going to be breaking ground on in about two weeks. Um, we've been working with the community of Willowbrook, which is actually south of Watts, and there was a piece of property there that um, for many years lay fallow. And so many of the sites that we work on are vacant properties that um, have become, you know, in some respects, nuisance sites within the community. And as we began working with the community, um, we found out that this property in particular had a very deep history of um, not only you know, trash and litter, but also um, where the local pastor's own brother had been shot and killed. And so um, for us, it was very important to spend time working with the community to really both identify how this site would help bring much needed open space, but also um, how these sites can be a, a very important healing um, site for a community. And so um, we're happy to announce that Faith and Hope Park grew out of the many meetings with the community. We're bringing in a nature park um, that will be a, a place of healing and transformation for the community, and um, so I'm very, very uh, excited to, you know, we have stories about each one of our sites um, that really talk, again, both about the importance of bringing um, these properties into the areas that are most underserved, that are park poor, but also the level of impact that these sites have in terms of transforming communities. And um, there, we did do a very brief uh, PowerPoint. I don't know if it's up or not, but just to show you some of the pictures of some of our community members that throughout the city of Los Angeles and um, that, you know, again, are part of our process. And I want to invite you um, to, we have, if anybody's interested, come see me and um, Barnaby, if you raise your hand. Um, we offer project tours, and that's really the best way to kind of learn about our work. And so we're going to be doing one next month, and we also have an event, our annual garden party, coming up in June. So a welcome. Um, if you didn't get a chance to stop by and see us during the, the fair, I welcome um, to please come over and say hello. And thank you again for this prestigious award. So we're very excited. <laughs> 